All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Planning Board meeting of October 22nd. It's an unusual Thursday. Before we get going, I just, uh, as far as uh, business... Tuesday, Steve. Oh, geez, Thursday. That was... It's usually a Tuesday. Tuesday. Usually it's Tuesday. No, on a Thursday. I feel like it's Thursday. It Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> you got me nervous. Yeah. What, what are we doing here? Okay. It's a different location, okay. right? Different location. Thank you. Um, so, uh, just a couple quick items I wanted to touch on before we get moving. Um, at the last meeting, um, there were some issues we had to ask somebody to to uh, to leave the meeting. I think uh, everyone who comes in, whether it's an applicant or or an abutter, is usually I don't remember a time where we haven't given anyone a chance to speak uh, at length. Um, I just, uh, I expect everyone to be cordial to each other and um, uh, and allow others to speak. So um, uh, in addition to that, submission guidelines, I've talked about this before. Um, anything being submitted, whether you're an applicant or an abutter, should go directly <coughs> to Town Hall, to uh, Paul or, or Nicole, uh, if Paul's not here as well. Um, Things shouldn't be sent to my personal email, any of the board's personal emails, uh, to be considered for for anything, whether it's a decision or to re-decide something or to you know bring up a vote again. Um, I just want to make sure that's that's said again because it, it, it continues to happen, um, and those those submissions to my personal email or, or yours, or we don't look at them, we give them to Paul or uh, the general counsel. Um, uh, I want to make sure everybody's clear that we're we're unpaid public officials. You all know that, um, and it, it, I don't want to speak individually for everyone. But my experience with everyone here is everybody here is honest, and I think it is here in the best interest of the town. Um, so when we take a vote on something, um, we shouldn't have to worry about intimidation or threats to to us. Uh, you know, violent threats. Which happened to me last week, so um, I'm not going to get into details about it. But um, I don't think anybody who's serving in a public office should have to deal with that. And um, you know, proper authorities are called and everything. But I just want to make that clear um, that that happened because I know it's it's the buzz everywhere. Um, let's see, town meeting. Um, we did have the town meeting, and, and I'll talk about this. We can talk about it uh, after the a &R that we have, but uh, I just wanted to kind of put that out there that we, we need to uh, we need to be a little better prepared for town meeting. Um, uh, it was my second one. I've, I've been the chair for, what, six months? Um, never been in public office before, so it was very, very uh, different. I, I think we need to set some policy. So that's something I, I'm going to ask the board to maybe get together at a, at a further meeting to, to go over what we want to do going forward uh, so we can better prepare and, and not have such a uh, such a mess as what happened in town meeting last night. So, um, all that being said, do we have any? We have minutes to approve. Yes. Oh, we have a bill. We um, let's do the minutes first. The minutes for October seventeenth. Has that everyone had a chance to look them over? Yeah, there were yes. a few revisions. Just a few uh, revisions um, on this version. Uh, I made this afternoon. They're already reflected in here. Is in that copy, okay. yes. When did this just come out? Did this just come out? Is the minutes? Yeah. The oh yes. October Those. I'm sorry, I was looking at why are there comments? Oh yeah, because the yeah there are. I, I yes, we. Them. Well, Nicole sent them out yesterday, but I, I hadn't reviewed them, and so I just made a few edits to it. When, when you're saying that something new, could you just let us know when it's it? Because I, I checked the website once, and then I don't know the look, look. I don't keep on checking it back again. Well, so it was in there when the, when she sent the memo out. It was in the memo. It was already there when she issued the memo to to you uh, a couple of days ago. It wasn't. It? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. It's okay, there's a lot in the memo. Do we have any further changes? Can um, we hold off? I want to. I want to just read this. Um, I can do it afterwards. Put it there. I'm fine with that. I just want to read through. It. Uh, we do have one bill. Uh, do you have it still? It's just uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, the 400. Is that the one that was in the folder as well? 
the bill was the in the folder? No, that one. I, you can explain it. Yeah, again, this one, uh, it wasn't because this was um, this was a conference I went to last week. Okay. Uh, and it, it's just, it, 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 this is a reimbursement because I, we can't pay for services that haven't happened, so I had to pay for it. So mm -hmm. the, it's the, the Southern New England America Chapter mm -hmm. American <laughs> Planning Association. <laughs> for a conference, right? Yes. So, Chair, I, I think only three people that were at the meeting are here tonight, so I don't even know if you can approve these minutes. Hmm. Yeah, we can hold off. I'm, I'm, I don't want to rush them. As long as everyone else is okay with that, right? Yes. <laughs> I obviously have. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll hold off until the next meeting for that. Uh, does anyone have any questions for Paul on that, that uh, one? Bill. I feel like one day we're going to get a big <coughs> stack of bills. Um, could be coming. coming. <laughs> could be coming. <laughs> For those, when that, when that does come, if, if you could put it together ahead of time yeah. and get it to us, we can look at them. And then this was just because yeah. it was right. last Thursday. And no, I, I understand. Yeah. Uh, all right. Unless there's questions. Motion to approve the bill is submitted. I have a motion to approve the bill is submitted. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Uh, moving on, we have an A&R endorsement. Um, Barnside Corporation at 48 Walker Street. Do we have anyone here? They for that? Were, we've been in touch, and there was a challenge for the applicant and the engineer to, okay. to be here. But they asked that it still go forward. So, are you comfortable then letting us know what's going on here? Or I, 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 no. <laughs> I, I have not <laughs> been able to get to this. Okay, but I know that it is for an additional lot. So copies there. The question is yeah. a pretty straightforward yeah. division. They both have more than 150 feet of fires. They're all regular shape. I'm not sure. The shape factors are in range. Mm -hmm. Certainly. What zone is this in? Uh, it might be in the upper R40. Yeah, it's R40. So they need it. It's R40, and they're both over 40. So I've. They have that, that they have vital access. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, okay. As plans go, this one's pretty straightforward. We could use some of that. Any thoughts? Yeah, I think it's pretty straightforward myself. So, uh, unless there's any objection, I entertain a motion to to endorse. So moved. Okay, we have a motion to endorse the ANR. Quick, uh, I can wait for discussion. But sure. The well for the house on lot one exists within the boundaries of lot two. Is that any issue? What are you reading from? You say well? Yeah. Doesn't matter? I mean, from my perspective, that's until the other lot's sold, it's under common ownership. Mm -hmm. And then it's up to the I would assume they'd be an easement. To make the easement correctly, but there's no way we would be involved in that. Okay. Uh, maybe they don't use the well. Like they don't go a lot too. Who knows? Sure, nothing. So this is noted. Uh, second. <laughs> we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion on this? Well, I <laughs> Hearing none, all in favor to endorse? Aye. 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 Opposed? 
signing uh, the, the next issue we have on the, the agenda is a pending decision to remand for a special permit 488 uh, Bay Road and Fairly Lane um, unfortunately we have two planning board members who were not able to make it tonight and we need to have them here so we need to continue this but we need to decide on a meeting date to continue it too I don't think I'm on that one. No, you're not. I stole, stole Kevin's <laughs> pen. That's fine. Thank you, sir. So I didn't hear back from anything yet. No, I haven't from me. I heard from the two. Oh, she's available, available on Tuesday the 29th. Cool. So we have a, a definite availability on Tuesday the 30th for Steve? council. Tuesday the 29th. I'm sorry. The 29th. Julie will not be able to make it because she won't be back until the 30th. So we have a major problem. That. Scheduling our next meeting. This one's all good. I'm sorry, did you hear back from Amy? Not yet. Oh. No. <laughs> and Julie is leaving when? I don't know when she's leaving. Do you know when she's leaving? You, you, you emailed her that. Um, she didn't say it her email. Yeah, but I thought you replied back. <clears throat> I didn't get I didn't get a response to it, so. Um, the, the bottom line is it. Joe has missed one meeting so far with this, um, and he can't miss a second, so I'm more concerned about Joe missing a meeting. Um, oh, I'm concerned about anybody missing this meeting because it's important, but um, that's the major uh, issue is, is if Joe is available. And we know he said he was available the 29th. Well, the Joe is available the 29th and the 30th. Okay. Um, it's not ideal, but it's been thrown out that we have a meeting this Friday. Uh, it gives us enough time to, to post a notice. Um, I will not, my family will not be happy about that, but um, if that's the only option to get everybody here, then you know I'll, I'll do what we need to do. But I'm not doing that. I'm going away for the weekend. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I do not have a conflict on the 29th. I'm not so sure. So on, if it was the 29th, uh, we would miss Oren and Julie, which yes. would still, and we have to have this, we have to have this um, back to the court by the 4th, um, and we can't do it the day before or anything like that, then you know, we need time to prepare it. Um, we have to be realistic, so. Mr. Chair, we, so we don't have Oren and Julie tonight. Is there a reason why we can't do this? We don't have Joe and Julie. Joe's already missed a meeting Joe, right, yeah. for this, and, and we can't move forward with that. And, uh, council's not here because of, uh, she recommended that we wait for her. Yeah, we wait. Well, not not for her. We wait for um, at least Joe. Oh, Ju I don't want to put words in her mouth. Uh, she recommended that we, we get everyone. Yeah. Her recommendation. Yeah, she right. recommended that we, we move it to the next meeting. Uh, but the next meeting so it needs to be room. next week sometime. It, yes. Yeah, it has to be before. It has to be. What's the day of the week? It has to be. Um, Friday's the, be Friday's the first. The right. fourth is Monday. Right. Yeah. So we have to. Yeah. We have to have that stamped by the town clerk on Friday. the fourth. Oh, the fourth. At the latest. Yeah. Preferably <laughs> sooner, but you know what? What will happen is once once you all finalize or give us direction, the final direction on the two decisions, <coughs> then we'll work with Steve and Amy to get that all, you know, in order. So, and Steve looks at it, and then Julie will be back to sign it as the, cl the planning board clerk. And then once she signs it, then I just bring it down to the you know, town clerk. So do we have any known availability of Julie and Joe? The only, the only thing I got back from Julie was that she's not available. She's, what I got was she's flying back on the 30th, so I don't know when she leaves or when. Um, so, As, so the 31st? That's not going to happen. No, sorry. You're not costumes? 
Um, yeah, it's like a sweet. <laughs> yeah, no, I think. My concern with having a Tuesday would be that uh, Joe would be here, so that would alleviate my biggest concern is, is him missing another meeting because he can't miss two. Um, but without Julie and without uh, Oren, that's two more voters, so we're down to four people that can vote on. Uh, we already voted, um, but for the final decision, if council is okay with that, then we can move to that. But we just, for our purposes, we need to actually um, schedule a date for this. And what is Julie, when is Julie leaving? That's what we don't yeah, know. Yeah, we don't know. Oh. But because we'd have to post any meeting with sufficient notice, it almost doesn't matter. Which is how much? Ju just to be clear for the record, Scott's involved in this only scheduling wise for a meeting. <laughs> so everybody is well, aware. Scott has to be here to help get the quorum to launch the meeting. Yes. So. Well, no, I, I want to make it clear we're not discussing the actual topic, so he didn't have to recuse for this yeah. discussion. Yeah, that's oh, all. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. Um, yeah, so. Just so. <laughs> Good to be needed. <laughs> so if. if if town council is okay with with two members not being here that voted on it, um, neither Orrin nor Julie have missed one uh, with this topic before. So, what about well? Uh, okay, so Kevin can't make it on Friday. Um, do we know whether Julie or uh, or and uh, Joe can make it on Friday? We don't know. We don't know. Because then we're just missing one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and what's the soonest it can again. be done with the proper we can What we can do, we have 48 hours. We have, um, we can schedule for Friday <coughs> and schedule for Tuesday because we have a quorum now. We can schedule those and then we can, um, we can cancel one or the other if we need to. With proper notice, you, you would know that better than I. So. Right. You need 48 hours. Yeah. What do you need to cancel? You have to have a, you have to have a meeting to cancel it? Sir, do you have to have if you schedule it for Friday and Tuesday, and if we didn't have that many people, could you cancel it without having a meeting? So if, if say we hear from Julie and, and Joe tonight, we schedule it for Friday and Tuesday now as a board. We um, we schedule it for Friday, um, and they say they can't make it or they can't whatever it is tomorrow morning. Um, we can either post it or post that we're canceling it. Um, right. I wouldn't as long as it's within the proper timeline. I don't want to, but. Right, because we'd have to make sure if something went wrong on Friday, we we post on Thursday for Tuesday meetings. <coughs> so you you you, know, you might need two meetings anyhow, because it's probably going we're not going to take two meetings for this. We're going to well, yeah, one uh, and a yeah, well, I'm not sure what you're going to see see the sign on on Friday or Tuesday. Sorry, see what the, document you're going to see the sign. Do you well, you have, have the drafts. Just, yeah, but there's no okay. But you're gonna have to do something to those drafts, right? And you, the drafts are not just minor edits, from what I can tell. Well, the good news is you made a lot of proposed. I, so. I, I understand. I was I was waiting for Amy to respond. Right. I'd like to see her. I mean, yeah. That goes getting. back to my uh, to my my issue of preparedness for the board. I think when we go through these, a lot of times, you know, we're we're editing and re-editing and going over things again and again, and um, you know. Not that, that it's the number one item, but it's taxing on, on the staff here. But uh, also, I feel like we're just redoing things that we could have addressed at the meeting itself. Um, so I think I, I think we should be doing this. You know, when we went through all the um, all the conditions, they type them up. We, we there should be minor edits. There shouldn't be a whole rewrite of what they write up. Um, well, and the good news this is one's you went through special, most of the conditions before. It doesn't mean you couldn't revisit, but I think the you know, the, a couple of the major things would be Oren's recommendations on the findings. Well, it's not, I don't want to. Oh, no, I'm not, yeah. I'm not. I'm just saying that the changes themselves would just, in general, be those findings. And then we had to, because of the vote, uh, Amy recommended we create, we separate and create two decisions, mm -hmm. one for the site plan, which you, which has the conditions, which you've largely seen, and then the special permit decision, which you have the draft of which is a much shorter because it doesn't have the conditions in it. Yeah, the decision should take two meetings. One where we make the decision and the conditions, and the second where we go over the written conditions um, to make sure that they accurately portray what we discussed. So uh, I, I don't feel like that's an opportunity to just revamp the whole entire thing because we had already gone through it all. Um, that's, that's my take on it, and that's how I think we should do things moving forward. But 
So the soonest we back can meet the, is Friday. Thank you. And back the, to that. The <laughs> latest we can meet is Friday, the following week, right? No, uh, uh, that's no. too. That's too late. The latest we could meet because would be because they need to. Yeah, the decision needs to be final and written and stamped the following business day. So we would have to meet. Julie said she's back on on Wednesday the thirtieth by seven or something. I think she said seven. I mean, we could meet next Wednesday. No, uh, when's town council available? It's interesting stuff, folks. She's not available. Um, I don't know Monday. other than Tuesday, and she said no, no Monday. Monday. Okay. Can you do a late start on Wednesday? She didn't say she's not available yeah. Friday. Well, we don't know. We haven't. Uh, we, I've asked. Friday. I've texted her, but I haven't heard back from her yet. Well, that's why I think we we try to schedule one for Friday and then one for Tuesday because those are the two days we know. I think she said she's available Wednesday, and I said, oh, maybe we need to She said, okay, well, in that case, Tuesday still works. Okay. So Wednesday, I think she said she's Tuesday. But you're still in this. I'll try to make it Friday. You're still in the same boat that Orin and Julie are here. Yeah, so well, that's why I think we available <coughs> Wednesday, too. Well, that's why I think we schedule it for Friday and Tuesday. Um, Will Amy be here Friday? Yeah, we, I, I, we're waiting well, here. That, yeah, so we really don't know anything. We, we, we know for sure that she's available. It seems that way. <laughs> we don't know anyone's schedule, which we got to schedule something between now and next Wednesday. We, we know for sure that town council is available Tuesday. We don't know for sure if the others are. Um, right. So that's why my recommendation is to, to schedule two meetings and we can um, end up going with the best So one. can we get a quorum for Friday to at least show up and agree to the schedule for the following week? I can be here Friday. I can be here. There's two. Well, you could, we could just go ahead and set two. So then just cancel it if we don't need it. We could it. just set two. I would just go ahead and set that's both a, of them. That's an interesting idea. You've already <laughs> said it. I know. And then just write canceled on one if we don't need it. Yeah. Can we schedule it early, like six or six on Friday? I'm I'm okay with that. Noon, if you want. To. Yeah. Oh yeah, because the time well, we have to three or forty-eight hours, but what time would, be, time time on Friday. would it be earlier better? Or? Uh, makes doesn't make as much doesn't make that much difference. On I'm Friday. available anytime. Um, I think. Friday. Yeah, I think my expect my. Gut feeling is that we're going to end up on Tuesday. So I think so. Can I just ask, ask on Tuesday, knowing that Amy is a definite, who here is available? I think so. And we know Joe is. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I really think Julie should be here too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah I, I think we all should be here. But you know, so can we yeah. start a little bit later on Wednesday and give her time to get here? It's unfortunate, but <clears throat> what time here? is she getting back? Uh, it said seven, I think. Yeah, so from Providence. Well, we don't know if that's landing at Providence. My, my thought on yeah. Friday is if, if you know, this is a mess. Um, Just go for Friday. I say we, we, we set one up for Friday and then one for Tuesday. Um, I mean, we're all, we're all kind of bending over backwards here. Oh, and I, I think Joe said I could do Friday, but the earliest I could make it would be around 7.30. You guys that's the important one we need to have Joe here because he's already missed a meeting for this oh so it's Kevin now oh we didn't have meetings last huh? so we're here we didn't, talk, we didn't talk about this last week did last we? week we didn't raise it so you know uh, Julie arrives in Providence at 7 p.m. yeah she was not going to be here till 8 9 yeah. so let's say why don't we why don't we set one for for Friday at 7 30 and then another one for Tuesday Friday at 7 30 yeah Joe says he can't be here oh is that what he said okay Mm, that sucks. <laughs> I, I won't. I will not keep house. us here long, and I, I won't be running again for Plenty Boy. I don't think in two and a half. Uh, <laughs> I won't keep us here long. I promise. But I expect everybody to be prepared if we end up yeah, having that's, that if, that's if Amy's available. Yeah, Amy may not be. So, so let's schedule it for. We all in agreement for Friday, seven thirty. And yes, Tuesday at five. No. <laughs> Try. Think of nothing better. Right. Standard time on yeah. Tuesday. Seven fifteen. Yeah. Let me just check. Um. So seven thirty and seven fifteen. Your pack tells on Friday, but. Right. Is there anything else pending for future addendas? Or are we making this focused on this one item? For right now, this is going to be focused on the one. We have uh, okay. a meeting scheduled for the 12th, so that's 
That would be the next regular business. This will be just this one item. And I don't know if you figured out that, but I have the 18th written down, too. You've discussed it, but yeah. we never finalized but it. But we don't have to right now, but just... Yeah, just no, it's just the 12th. Okay, we're not until the 18th. Is that with the Charter yeah. Commission or the 18th? Oh, yeah, the 18th. Oh, yeah, okay. That's, that's, right. that's, that's what I'm... Once that's we figure this out, I'm okay. going to bring that up. I won't even go there. Right. Um, so we'll schedule Friday at 7.30. I'm sure we can pick our place probably okay. downstairs. So do we need to motion to we need to motion to continue this to Friday and then actually we would have to have a quorum show up to continue it to um, for the following Tuesday on Friday. Cancel. Unless we cancel it. And if you do cancel it, we need one of you here just as a protocol. Right, I'll show up if, if nobody else can. So, so if we're so if we are canceling the meeting, we only need one. If we are not canceling the meeting, we only need full. If the only reason we would cancel it is if town council couldn't be here. Okay. So if, if town council can't make it, then I'll, I'll show up and, and um, be the one to cancel it. Yeah. All right. So we're all in agreement. Do we need a motion for that? I would just make the motion to okay. continue to Friday. All that being said, I will entertain a motion to continue the remand of Special Permit 488 to, ideally, to Friday at 7.30 p.m. What's the date? The 25th. So moved. We have a motion. A hesitant second. second. There we go. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. All right. Thank you. All right. So that's all we have on the agenda. Um, <coughs> I don't want to keep us here too long, but um, as far as town meeting, did everybody get a chance to take a look? You still in person. They're in person to see the carnage. All right. I was there. Yes, Peter. <clears throat> um, so article, f do you want to go through it, Paul, or do you want, do you want me to? So, just going to go through it quickly, but article 15, which was the proposal we had made, that failed. Uh, article 16, which was the one you all took no action on, which was the allowing of uh, single family and, uh, no, sorry, duplex and multifamily and commercial, uh, that also, that that uh, failed to move. Uh, the rezonings on Smith Street that they were approved, and then the uh, petition for Zone 3 was also approved as, as proposed. So there were no amendments to, to that. So that comes back. That will be coming back on November 12th. Um. And the reason Article 15 failed was, um, again, like I had said it, uh, I'll, I'll take blame for this as well. Um, and I take a lot of blame for it. And we're going to we, we're going to be fixing problems. I want to, you know, I, I know I'm interrupting. That's right. You know, part of my job is making sure you all can do your job, and I failed at that. We made we had some we had communication errors here, but you know, part of that's just inexperience on my part. And, uh, but we see what the problems are. Uh, you know, the big thing was I, I didn't realize that the changes that we made Thursday that we typed up Friday didn't get, did not get uh, uh, printed and that we didn't have them on the board. And that really put everything in motion. So from here on, I mean, that's, you know, that's on me. So we're gonna fix that. Some other things I wanna do, start doing that as a town that we need to do which is, I think it's gonna be really important that when we get amendments for zoning changes, that we have a public information session in addition to your public meetings. Uh, we actually, ironically, we did this for Reed and Barton and it really worked well. We had about 30 people that showed up to this informational session. People asked their questions. We were able, you know, the team was able to answer them and last night it actually went through smoothly. So our, the idea of doing the informational session worked we need to do that here. You know, we can't expect people to just go to town meeting for the first time. Give them more opportunities. 
Uh, we also need to do a better job of aligning your schedule with FinComs. You know, this is going to if we can do that, that's a challenge because there's always a rush between the close of the this application cycle and when you have to meet and when we have town meeting. Is there any way of expanding that process? I mean, the timing. So that's what's stuff. Yeah, yeah, to jump in on this, my, my thought was, um, and again, this again with my second town meeting as, as chair, and the first the first one I wasn't um, I was on the board, but I wasn't highly involved with the warrants and in the process. Um, so, you know, I was looking up under the bus. Um, but I think that it, I, I definitely could have learned from that and had us prepare these well in advance. And I think going forward, anything that's not ready and if it's final form, you know, three weeks, four weeks before the town meeting, then we need to pass it to the next town meeting. Um, I, I think that's a general rule. It, it confuses people. Oh, we, we had to make changes. There were four changes. To me, I didn't think they were major. Um, I know we discussed them before. But it can be confusing with all that wording, and I understand that. Um, so I think, yeah, time-wise, I think we definitely need to have a, a bigger lead time before we yeah. we put these forward. We're going to look into that, Orrin. I've asked that, but I know yeah. the bylaw makes it challenging, and so we need to be uh, I just a question of process, and I think one of the other problems, I think, was with uh, the bylaw, to the amendments we were proposing for identification. Those are pretty extensive. Um, and even for us, we're receiving them. I know you generated them with Chris. I mean, and you got to the went to the selectmen with them for approval. Yeah. Is there any way that that comes to us first, so we can vet it with you a little bit more, so we have you know get a little bit more input, oh. rather than basically the you know the selectmen saying we want this, <coughs> but we seeing it two weeks before. It's a it's major changes in terms of. You know, some definitions, but you know, we're changing I, uses I in a different. I mean, we need to be able explain to explain it to people, sure. and we're still looking at it, just making edits as, as we go along. Um, that that truly really delays us. It's something that big, because we're going to come across with you know now with the you know the the, the new um, town reviewing all of this stuff. They're going to come with a, some major bylaw changes. We're going to have to find a process by which we're going to be able to vet that and, and talk to people about it and explain it other than trying to do it at a town meeting with 130 people. I mean, yeah. That's what you have in a town meeting. And I think that's crazy. what I'm trying to avoid, you know, and, and again, I'll take the, the, the um, I'll take the blame for this one. If something comes across two weeks beforehand, it should have been, let's, you know, no. No. We can't take it up as a board and then offer amendments at town meeting and confuse the heck out of people. It's not fair to the voters. Um, again, it's it's my lack of experience with, with the town meeting and, um, Quite frankly, just not not being um, guided, and not not to your to you, Paul. But I mean, in general, I think uh, any board should have uh, should have some kind of guidance as far as you know the new the new chairs or the new board members as to what you're actually doing. Um, well, procedures. We were, I, we I were mean, talking about the, um, what was it, Article 15? That yeah, yeah. We were talking about it a couple weeks ago, and I wasn't at the meeting last week, so. Um, uh, you can blame me for that. <laughs> but when we were talking about it prior, um, I'd been to uh, you know, dozens of town meetings, and, and I think I advised everybody, you know, don't make changes and mm -hmm. don't make it too complicated because it's fine if the if our board, you know, discusses it and approves it, but you can't get, uh, you know, 100 people to, to do that. And you to your point, you certainly cannot make amendments uh, on town meeting floor. So I don't know what happened in our meeting last week, why there were amendments, so but it was complicated in and of itself. And then you add the amendments on there. I think a little bit differently. I I don't think information sessions or getting to selections meetings earlier is really the root um, solution. I think no more amendments on town meeting floor. And if it's a complicated mm -hmm. article to begin with, you know, hand out supplements if you want. But you can't change the, the wording that's in front of everybody in the warrant, you know, and expect them to support something that probably had a, a, a low probability of getting supported in the first place. So, I 100% I agree with that. And, and, you know, back to my point is, that, you know, there are folks in this building that have been at town meetings for 20, 30, 40 years uh, and could have just given that little bit of advice of don't try to push amendments at the town meeting. Um, I, I kind of did. Uh, well, yeah, no. <laughs> in our meeting. I know. <laughs> Um, and and back to the, the last meeting, um, my whole, it goes back to that, that marathon meeting, that five and a half hour, whatever it was, meeting. Um, at that point, again, we should have voted on the changes, voted on the amendment, and moved on. Uh, and just saw it in any typos, we fix it at the next meeting. 
uh, we shouldn't have had to add definitions. And if we did, it should have been moved on. So, And uh, we should give you the authority, too, if things go south as quickly as it did. I mean, that was really a disaster. And I, I wanted to pull it, but I, I don't have the authority to let me before we even went up. We should give you the judgment call there <laughs> because we wasted a half hour of everybody's time yeah. and we got nowhere. Yeah. I thought we voted for that ability in the last session. I don't think we did. Um, we, we can find out, though, because okay. that would make it, that would have made it a lot easier. Um, the one thing that I was confused about, too, was uh, the town moderator um, obviously was not happy, but uh, he said he didn't get the changes, but he got them on Friday, the Friday before. So he got them the very next morning. Um, even that being said, there's still changes. Uh, if it's just a word here and there, that's one thing. But yeah, whole paragraphs, is, it's not all right. Um, so can you explain, to, since I was not at the meeting, why did we have amendments last week? Uh, two of them had to do, uh, I can do the easy ones first. One was just changing a um, structure to house or house to structure. House to structure. It was structure. just a, a word switch was one of them. Um, the last one had to do with, uh, actually I might have them in here. It was Chris, uh, Chris's. Yeah, but you know, we had, uh, Orrin had realized we did, you know, it was on us for missing this, but uh, there was a proposal to change uh, one of the roles of, uh, under the roles of the building commissioner that it says issue uh, zoning uh, compliance, but that he's never, they've never done that. They issue uh, occupancy permits. So we we're just simply changing it out, but we, we didn't we, we guess a didn't couple get sections or and saw it. Like, okay, well, good. We need to fix that then. And that was an amendment. And well, just where it says, just where it says occupancy, uh, where it says occupancy permit. No, it says certificate of compliance. Well, e either way. Yeah. We didn't even get to it. Um, at that point, again, too, at, at the last meeting, um, you know, it was motioned and voted on, so my hands are tied as far as not bringing that to the, the town. Um, I think in the future, if we just keep it, keep it simple, you know, if it doesn't make the, yeah. the printing of the town warrant, no yeah. amendments or pull the article and don't move it. Yes, yeah, because I think if there's, a, if there's a typo or like a one-word switch, that's easy enough, but I think even with that, you know, have, well, have it out there for well, That's when people question, well, why are you changing one word and what's the implication of it? And then people over, you know, think it. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we must have spent 10 minutes on that one word, uh, dwelling to house or whatever that was. So yeah, I don't think much. that's the solution. I think any change yeah. at all in the front no, of the happened, Kevin, yeah. is Just an explanation. That word mm. houses in new places, we fix it in one, we didn't fix it in the other. That was literally a typo. I mean, uh, yeah, typos are going to happen. You don't the, want that the to be The other one was, remember, um, Joe was questioning whether he wanted to make, this is on the, uh, um, the, uh, the accessory permanent the accessory use the permanently attached must be permanently not attached which is picking up on Joe's language and the third one was the the definition of dormitory which the way it was drafted was overly broad statutory provisions allowed you to limit it to basically uh, educational uh, non-profit educational and religious sex the way it was drafted, it could be anything, it could be a dormitory, and those are residential uses. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, it and wait till so, so this goes back to my original, um, you know, when we started the meeting, is that we need to, if we're marking something up, we need to do it all in one meeting, every major change that we're gonna do, and then just like with the minutes, um, we review the minutes, think of it like that, and, and we make minor changes. Um, Cause you know, I mean, unless yeah. it's something major that we're gonna, we're gonna schedule two days to mark up, uh, two meetings to mark up, I think that we need to, um, especially with these, and, and and again, I think that uh, that long meeting kind of um, normally I would have voted on. I would have you know, hoped to have voted on those because we voted on the other three, uh, and that was the intention that night. But I think that just got out of uh, out of hand. I've been involved at Tommy's for 30 years, and there's a lot more um, downside because people lose credibility. You, we lose credibility in the eyes of. The general public. Oh, I lost points. Out. Absolutely. Yeah. The whole. I mean, it was embarrassing for me being a member of the board, and we just can't let that happen again. I mean, we're all here, we're teammates, and I'm being completely honest. That's why I stand by you 100 <laughs> percent. Well, I think one one op option going down the road, as Lauren, you mentioned, when it's a staff generated, we can work, start working sooner on these. Uh, someone had suggested afterwards that. Uh, other other communities that he's been involved with that they have a subcommittee that deals with zoning bylaw changes so it might be comp, you know a subcommittee with planning board and ZBA for example that could take a look and be an eye on it too so that way you could get a few get some uh, multiple perspectives from different different boards so um, 
I think I have a text from Amy, so I'm sorry. Oh, All right. So it, she's not available. When? Friday. Okay. So the Friday meeting will be canceled. So it'll be Tuesday the 17th. Oops. She says, I suggest that they meet, and then perhaps you and I meet to hammer out a decision. Okay. <laughs> no, we'll just do it Tuesday. I'd, I'd like to have her there. Me too. Yeah, I don't know why we would go through any of that without her. Did she, did she have a conflict tonight, I assume? No, because we didn't have we jobs. Didn't have we, we, had so to, we had to move it anyways. Oh. Yeah. I'm just going to respond to her then. Tuesday the 29th? Yeah. Okay. So, so we, we need a motion to continue it to the... So who's not going to be here Tuesday? We know Julie's not. Julie's not, not and Orrin's not. We know Orrin's not. Okay. All right. So I think we would need a new motion then to continue with to Tuesday, the 29th. So you, 29th still, you still only have four. We'll have five for a quorum uh, as far as the meeting, but um, but yeah, it, it, it's okay to do it. We were just taking a shot that we four. would have more people at next week. Yeah. Uh, but, okay. So, but you can't take a re-vote on anything else? You can't? You won't have we're five. not going to be re We're not going to be voting anything. Okay. Um, yeah. You won't. Okay, you won't have. Oh, I don't. Ex I, don't I don't expect a vote on anything. She'll be there Tuesday. Okay. Well, I, I mean, look, if she tells me that my vote on the special permit was out of bounds, then we could always have a motion to reconsider and re-vote that. So we don't say we may not vote. Yeah. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to say you that can. we're not going to vote, but I don't want to. Have people thinking that we're definitely going to revote anything? We wouldn't be able to. We wouldn't be able to vote on to re reconsider on a special permit on Tuesday. So because we would only have five, four voting members and we need five approvals. So here, here's what I think then. If say, say it does turn out that, that we do need to revote it, or there is going to be another vote, I would say that we need to mark the decision up, have it complete and ready uh, with all of our. Our thoughts and our, you know, um, our, our reasons, so that it can be produced for the most part before Friday, and then we would have to have a meeting on Friday. Uh, that Friday. Friday the first. Yeah. So at least that the, the the part of, of Paul getting everything together, um, Paul and Nicole getting everything together could be done in advance, and we would just be revoting. That's that's just for that example. I'm not saying that's going to happen or anything. So I was referencing her information when I yeah we can, we can't discuss the okay yeah right. I I know what you're saying but yeah we can't um, had, had she had been then here at the last meeting if she had stayed till the end of the meeting we probably would be beyond that uh, more than likely yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so so we would need a motion to. Uh, to continue it to the Tuesday, the 29th. So move. A motion to continue. I'll second. Okay. So just for clarification, your motion is to continue special permit 488 to Tuesday, the 29th. 7, okay. 715. 715. A motion and a second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Opposed? Abstain. All right. <laughs> Someday, I'm so yeah. happy to Someday. Done Someday. You, could, you could stay on for the big decisions. Someday I'll have them all. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah. You, your time's right. coming. Um, so, yeah, I, I think this, this discussion warrants a lot, more, um, a lot more discussion. I think we should talk about how things are, are prepared and uh, timelines. Uh, one of our, hopefully we have a meeting or two that's, that's fairly light. I'd like to put that in the agenda so we can kind of get deeper into it. Um, so the one last uh, one last thing I have is uh, Charter Commission. We never discussed who or if anyone would like to, to meet with them on the um, potentially the 18th. I'm still waiting to hear back if they still have it open. Um, to represent the planning board as far as you know, I mean. So just to this was in the minutes for the last meeting, but they're not willing to do a joint meeting or is that they're not willing to do a joint meeting no. is there a, 
their preference, or is there? I, I asked uh, months ago to do a joint meeting to try to set something up, and um, I was told that um, because they were meeting with so many people, uh, it's just not feasible. They have three different groups down there today. Yeah, yeah. and so they're trying to do a couple in every meeting. So, uh, and I understand they have a lot to get through. So. Okay. Usually, the um, the employee, the director, or whatever, uh, and uh, the spokesperson, usually the chairperson. That's what I've been seeing. Two people go up there and discuss. And with the planning board, just um, you know, they don't understand some things that, that, that govern uh, different boards and committees in, in the state. So I don't think there's a whole lot of latitude on how planning boards can be can function. <laughs> and maybe that's something you can explain, you know, in the open. I spoke well. I spoke with them a few months ago, but they, it wasn't focused on the role of planning board. So, but I know about resources. I watched that. Yeah. Yep. And and I'm happy to go. Off. I'm exactly. happy to go. I just wanted to, to put it out there yeah. if anybody else wanted to. And yeah. Yeah. I can, I can be there as well. well. Yeah. We can. I mean, we can have. It doesn't have to be one of us. It could be. I think if, if we have a quorum, that we need to note it as a meeting. But it would have to be posted as a yeah. meeting. Um, we would talk a lot about experience and uh, and such. And I, for that reason. I would suggest if if you guys are okay with it that Joe uh, speak Joe's on. Joe's available. Yeah. 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 He's our senior member. You know, on the yeah. Uh, to yeah. be quite frank, I mean, that's what I was hoping for when, when I put it out there for the board. Mm -hmm. He'd see if he would go. Yeah, it's a lot of town history as well in terms of yeah. that tribal knowledge. And you guys know he was a town administrator in Plainville for years. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, if Orrin, you wanted to go... If, so if Joe goes, that's fine. Okay. So we'll set that up offline. I just wanted to make sure that um, that everybody had the opportunity if they wanted to. Yeah, let me know what it is if it works out. Okay. So it, it, it potentially is the, the 18th, but uh, if that changes, I'll let everybody know too. Okay. Okay. Uh, do we need to ex uh, continue to set up our next meeting to make sure that it's the, 20, the 29th? You continued it to the 29th, but we didn't set a meeting date for the 29th. Do we need to do that? Okay. To point that was under was that under yeah we don't need to vote for the meeting dates right we don't okay no we just uh, yeah we just set it for the 29th so we're not going to have one it'll Friday be, it'll be noticed so. yeah right. you have a sigh of relief for the Friday one okay we would have been here I know Steve what I'll try to do before it goes maybe just jot down some of my thoughts on 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 the decision. Yeah, I, I wanted to, uh, what I was I saying. I some edits that I, I'll, do I, I try to download a Word version, but I don't seem to be able to get it very well. I'll try it again. I think you sent me one direct. Yeah, I just sent you the file. Did okay. it work? I, I think I got it. I'll try it. I said I can do a red line copy and I can send it to you and you can circulate, at least with my comments on yeah. what they were. Do you have a Mac? Are you opening it on the Mac? Yeah. That's why. Oh. That's why. Usually Mac can open Windows. It's yeah. not the only way around. Yeah, some I can, some I can't. It just, some of it just, just doesn't recognize the files. So to, to Orrin's point, I want to make sure, I mean, if somebody's not here, I want to make sure that to the fullest extent legally we can, I want their voice to be heard. And um, So, yeah, yeah Orrin, it, anything that you have to okay. put forth, we'll make sure um, we get into it. Uh, and, and at least bring it to Amy so we can go through them all. Okay. Um, and I'll, I'll offer the same thing with Julie uh, for her thoughts and, and recommendations. Prior to, as long as, long as we're okay to, to do that and then bring them forth uh, at the meeting, I think it should be fine, but... I just want to make sure we do everything uh, the right way. Yeah, I, think I, I need to check with the town manager about remote. Uh, he made a, there was some conversation about it, and if we were able to do some remote participation, possibly. I was thinking with, with a live broadcast, and you know, we have a speaker phone. We, we approved that a while back, didn't we? We did. Yeah, and then it was. I don't, think the, I don't think the selectmen have approved it yet, though. I think it was going through the boards, and then to that. still. I think the last one I watched, I think it was still pending. Okay. Do they need some equipment to do it, though, that they don't have? No. Uh -huh. As long as it's functional, there's not a specific equipment set that's required. But we, you know, again, we have a live broadcast that happens, so, you know, it's a that's few a second delay, delay but, yeah. but then they could, if they want to speak. It would be, it would have to be the equivalent of a speaker phone in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. That's I'm basically how it would be. Yeah. yeah, we have that. And whether that is... Was that, as Scott said, was this, that is not something the town manager would know whether that is yeah, I'll, fair I'll, game I'll or not. Yeah, I'll check with them tomorrow. Yeah, so we can. If that helps. That may help things. Yeah. 
All right. Anybody have anything else? All right. So, I guess. Motion to adjourn. Yes. Thank See you. See you next Tuesday. Yep. Second. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.